What's up everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution where we talk about everything under the moon, the crypto universe. Today is Monday, September 25th. In today's video, we're going to be doing a follow-up on Bitcoin ordinal NFTs. We have not been covering Bitcoin ordinal NFTs for quite some time. And that's the reason why I want to make this video is because when there's not a lot of buzz around an NFT collection based on a layer 2 solution, on Bitcoin, then that's usually a time where I tend to look at great assets to have more exposure into. Because when it's not a trend, either that trend is dead or it's an opportunity for those that are smart investors to buy the right assets. Now keep this in mind. I'm not advising anything. This is not financial advice. It's just my own opinion. Everybody has their own financial circumstance. So just because I make this video doesn't mean you have to buy these assets. These are all speculative digital assets so keep that in mind so with that said before we begin with the video be sure to smash the like button subscribe to the channel don't forget to join our patreon page and most importantly please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below i will never reach out via whatsapp telegram direct messaging or email so please be careful and invest safely so guys and girls let's get right into it so if you're new to Bitcoin ordinal NFTs, you must be wondering where you can actually buy those NFTs. Well, the best place for me to buy Bitcoin ordinal NFTs are on Magic Eden. So when you go into magiceden.io, make sure to select the Bitcoin category. This will show you the best Bitcoin ordinal NFTs. And if you do download a wallet, be sure to download Xverse. Xverse right now is the best extension wallet for you to buy Bitcoin ordinal NFTs. Sooner or later, they're gonna have, if they haven't already, incorporated Ledger, which allows people to have a cold storage wallet. So let's go ahead and get into the first collection that I wanna talk about, and that is called Bitcoin Whales. Now, this is a supply of 8,000 of these NFTs. Right now, the floor price, 0.0017 Bitcoin. So I'm showing you the most affordable collections up front, and then I'll show you the most expensive ones because the most expensive ones, there's a reason for that. So this one right here, Bitcoin Whales, has been on my radar because it's traded over 13 Bitcoin thus far. That's a lot of money considering that Bitcoin is roughly around $26,000 right now. So there's a lot of trading volume within this collection. Now there's 882 of these NFTs on the floor right now, Roughly around 4.1 thousand holders own these NFTs. They could own possibly one or more for sure. But what I love about these different NFTs within Bitcoin Whales is that the artwork is actually pretty cool. It's a mix of pixelated artwork, but also very colorful artwork as well. Just the artwork with the different traits stands out to me, and that's why this is on my radar. Now, if we look onto the Bitcoin Whale page for their Twitter, you can see that they actually have quite a bit of followers. Now, the followers could be manipulated, maybe some of them are bots, maybe not. But nonetheless, I have 185 of my own followers of my own network following this collection. So I like to see that amount of people within my network following this actual NFT collection because it goes to show that maybe they see something that I don't, and also it's not a lot of paid bots. So that keeps it really in check. But again, the community is there, it hasn't really gone anywhere, and you always wanna make sure that they're updating their page consistently because if they aren't, then most likely it's a rug. So this is something that I'm keeping my eye out on. And for that price around 0.0017 Bitcoin, I think it's not a bad entry. But I want to talk about the next collection, and that is called ABC. Now, ABC is a collection that was on Solana, but now they've migrated all their NFTs or most of their NFTs over to Bitcoin ordinals, which is pretty cool. Now, right now, there's around 7.8 thousand of these NFTs in circulating supply only. 146 of these NFTs are listed on the floor. Now there's roughly around 2000 holders, which tells me that right now, each one of these holders owns definitely one to five or more. So there's a lot of whales in this actual NFT collection. But again, maybe because the people who are holding these NFTs are big whales who are seeing this in the long term. And for the price of these NFTs, it's roughly around 0.0075 Bitcoin. So right now you can actually get some great deals. Yes, it's a lot of crayon, kid-like artwork. And I think that what's really great about this is that this collection did really well in Solana. Now that it's migrated over to Ordinals, the price has dropped on ABC on Solana and also dropped here on Bitcoin Ordinals. But again, I don't think that should be something that you should be deterred by. I think you should just look for the greatest deals. Now, if we go over to their actual Twitter page, again, a lot of people following this page, a lot of people in my network, 
But again, what I love about this collection is that it's one of the only few collections that doesn't take itself too seriously, meaning it's not trying to deliver utility. It's actually trying to deliver this innocent childlike feel. And what, that's what I love about the artwork. It's just simple and somehow it just really catches my eye. And uh, Huge, who is the founder of this collection, hasn't really gone anywhere. Huge ABC is an investor in Magic Eden, Tensor, Exchange Art, and also is a part of the Hades Swap and the Hades Token. So this guy is really well-rounded. Again, really committed to the ABC community. And he's definitely very bullish on the Bitcoin Ordals narrative. Now, let's talk about the next collection before we waste any time. And that is a little bit more expensive, but this is called Bitcoin Punks. And you must be wondering, wait a minute, isn't this related to crypto punks that's on ethereum it isn't actually well this is in a way a derivative project because it's not an actual original artwork or original project is literally taking the collection of crypto punks and putting it into bitcoin ordinals and they're not associated with each other at all and what's interesting is that bitcoin punks was the very first collection to make waves and headlines within bitcoin ordinals in fact bitcoin punks was the only collection that started garnering the attention from everybody else to the Bitcoin ordinals chain. And right now, that's why it's a little bit more expensive, around 0.01 Bitcoin. So it's a little bit more pricier compared to the other collections that we just talked about. But again, they were able to inscribe all these NFTs, all 10,000, when Bitcoin inscriptions were a lot cheaper back then. But now inscriptions are off the walls. There's millions upon millions of inscriptions happening right now. So it's getting more costly, more expensive to do this stuff. And so that means that it kind of affects the artwork itself. But right now, there's only 442 of these NFTs on the floor, around 6.4 thousand holders to date. Now, if we go over to their Twitter page, yes, a ton of people are following this actual Twitter account. And again, consistently sharing with people record sales. So just on September 19th, which was just roughly around a week ago, we had one of these Bitcoin punk ape PFPs sell for around 0.79 Bitcoin, almost close to a whole Bitcoin. So that's multi thousands of dollars. And also we have big whales such as this person named Denny Die Kroger. Now this guy owns a ton of these NFTs, roughly around 939 Bitcoin punks in February, which he bought around 500,000 US dollars. He's never sold a single one. So that just goes to show you the community that's at large. So really for these Bitcoin punks, this is on my radar. Again, I would love to have a great entry price to this collection, but keep in mind, this is not the official Crypto Punks Association, so keep that in mind. But with that said, let's talk about the next collection, and that's going to be Bitcoin Frogs. Why is this on my radar? Well, really, it's kind of the narrative because this collection used to be at a floor price around 0.0001 Bitcoin, now 0.02 Bitcoin. So that's a huge pump and increase. And in fact, this is one of the most traded collections in Bitcoin ordinals. How much are you just talking about, Vincent? Well, they've traded so far 487 Bitcoin just with this collection, which is absolutely crazy. Again, one of the very first collections on Bitcoin ordinals next to Bitcoin punks. This collection, again, 10,000. So they have a ton of these NFTs that were inscribed. Only 997 of these NFTs are on the floor, roughly around 4.2 thousand holders. Now there are a lot of whales, again, that own these NFTs. But once the Bitcoin ordinal NFT craze or FOMO kicks in and the euphoria kicks in, then you can expect a lot of these different prices of these collections to go up. So Bitcoin Frogs is definitely on my radar. In fact, it's one of the most watched collections on CoinGecko. It's one of the most watched collections on top of Pudgy Penguins, Azuki, which are really top tier Ethereum blue chip collections. So keep that in mind, people are paying attention to these and I don't think that they're sleeping. Next up, we got to talk about now more pricier collections, and I'm going to show you the last two. And the last two are Bitcoin D Gods, which is the second to last. Bitcoin D Gods right now is one of the top tier collections. Again, it hasn't traded as much total volume, roughly around 174 Bitcoin to date. But again, a lot of the holders, the community within D Gods, D Labs, Utes is quite large. The community is there. What's great about this collection, and what's great about the community, is that the community is huge, it's global. I've seen holders in Asia, Europe, America, even South Africa, Africa itself. I mean, even Middle East, it's crazy how many holders there are in the world that have exposure to the D-Labs economy. So Bitcoin D guys, I think is heavily undervalued. And to tell you the truth, I actually saw the bull case scenario for this. We actually saw that the floor price when Bitcoin ordinals was a craze just a few months ago, this was at 0.9 Bitcoin. Now it's literally half off and a little bit more than that. 
hovering around 0.4 Bitcoin. Only 535 of these NFTs will ever be in circulating supply for these actual NFTs. Keep in mind, back then they were burning 535 D-Gods from the actual official collection, and they actually brought those things back to life on Bitcoin ordinals. Only 98 of these NFTs are listed. That goes to show you supply and demand may be a thing for this collection, because right now only 376 holders own these NFTs, which means that right now there's kind of a one-to-one -one ratio of holders to NFTs. So that's really cool. There's a supply and demand here that I think could be really beneficial if you're wanting exposure. And these will forever be dead god designs. They will not transform into season three artworks or season one, they will forever look like this. Now the last collection I wanna talk about is Ordinal Maxi Biz. Now the floor price for this collection is around 0.24 Bitcoin. Now this is the last collection we're talking about and the most heavily undervalued collection. Why? It's because this collection is inscribed on block nine. What does that mean, Vincent? If I'm new to this space and I don't know what that means, how does that provide rarity? How does that boost the value of this NFT, especially these drawings? Well, if it's inscribed on block nine, it means that this was inscribed on the earliest moment that Bitcoin was inscribing Bitcoin transactions. So the fact that layer twos are happening for Bitcoin ordinal NFTs, they're inscribing it to the earliest blocks. So if you don't know, whenever there is a validation for any Bitcoin transaction, it's inscribed on a block. So that means these layer twos right now for NFTs are inscribing layer two solutions on those blocks. So these collections of ordinal maxi biz, every single one of them, is inscribed on block nine. And what that means is that right now, these could be the most heavily valued assets, even though they're very simplistic in drawings, but nonetheless, this has a total trading volume of around 431 Bitcoin to date. That's a lot of Bitcoin. So right now, even though the floor price has dropped from around 0.33 Bitcoin to around 0.24 Bitcoin right now, I think these definitely have the most upside if we have a Bitcoin ordinal narrative bullish case scenario come back. And that's really dependent on how the whole narrative of Bitcoin plays out. Now, as a conclusion and statement, because this all kind of ties in, in order for us to see any of these Bitcoin ordinal NFTs really skyrocket, we got to think of one thing, and that's number one. We have to see Bitcoin, the cryptocurrency, go parabolic. We need to see Bitcoin adoption and Bitcoin ETFs in the United States be passed. With that said, Bitcoin in general is considered a commodity in many other countries, especially within the United States. And with that said, that means if these NFTs are inscribed on the Bitcoin blockchain, then they may have the same protections, the same rights, same benefits to Bitcoin, the cryptocurrency. So with that said, number two is that we also have to see a return in the Bitcoin ordinal craze. That way we can see that NFTs are gonna be the next new thing. And that's why I think NFTs within Bitcoin ordinals, I don't think that's gonna go away anytime soon. So make sure to do your own research before buying any of these, because again, Bitcoin, if the price goes up, will that decrease the value of these NFTs right now? You have to keep that in mind. So make sure to do your own research, make sure to plan accordingly. And again, you have to invest wisely. Do not invest like a crazy person. Don't spend your mortgage on this. Don't spend what you can't pay for bills. This is all so speculative and that could also be quite dangerous. So make sure to invest wisely and safely. And I hope to hear your comments down below of other collections on Bitcoin Orals that we haven't covered and maybe we'll cover it in the next video. So with that said, if you enjoyed what you heard, you have to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls on both buy and sell orders, both NFTs and cryptocurrencies, especially within Bitcoin ordinals. Till then, see you guys and girls next time.